So what can you do when you really want to use some footage, but it just looks pretty bad? So obviously you can try to fix the footage, but sometimes you can't fix it. For example, if you have blown out highlights, you can't fix them. And then you have to try something different to make the footage usable again. And as you can see, we've got some footage in my timeline. And this is all iPhone footage. The first one has the problem that the highlights are blown out and they look pretty bad. Just some iPhone native camera things. And the second shot is an Apple log, the third one too. And to properly see it, we have to first convert it to Rec. 709. And there's a quick way to do it by going to color management and choosing the Vinci YRGB color manage and then you press save and now you get converted to Apple log footage and as you can see it doesn't look that good it's on a 5x lens on my iPhone 15 Pro Max and it wasn't as bright outside so it looks a bit weird. But it's still not too bad, so we can probably easily fix that. This scene isn't too bad, it's just way too dark, so we have to make some adjustments here. So let's begin with the first shot. So if you want to fix these types of footage, there's one way to do it, for me at least. And this is to make it look worse. By worse, I don't actually mean worse. I mean make it look like VHS, for example. So it's a bit more stylistic, so that you can use it. So how do we make it look like VHS? One of the easiest ways is go to OpenFX and then we can actually search for analog damage. For that you need the DaVinci Resolve Studio version, but I'm gonna show a free way later. But now we start with this one here. And then you can choose a preset. In this case you could use clean VHS. 1990s also looks pretty good. Old VHS is pretty stylistic. 1980s also looks pretty good. But I think in this case I'm gonna use clean VHS. If you just want to have the VHS effect, what I want in this case, and not these bars in the middle of the image, you can deactivate adjust CRT framing, and then you can go to video and crop left and right so that you have the VHS look a bit more. So we go with, I think, 230 for every side. And now we have the VHS look, and that looks pretty good. It looks like a VHS camera a bit. And now I'm gonna show you what you can do if you don't have the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna leave the cropping and just remove the effect of analog damage. We go to color, and the most important thing is that we have three parallel nodes. We're gonna call this one red, green, and blue. And now we go to the RGB mixer. And then on the red node, we just leave the red channel here and remove everything else so that it looks like this. On the green channel we do the same with the green output so that we remove every other color from every channel but leave the green on the green output. And of course the same for the blue one. So now it looks normal again and we have a different node for every color channel. And now if we go to the red channel we can go to sizing and then we choose node sizing. And now we can move the image of this specific node. So if I move the pen you can see that we have an RGB split effect, which is what we want. And then you can play around with each channel. You can also just use the zoom. And then we make two new nodes. The first one is gonna be sharpen, and the second one is blur. And now I'm gonna go to the sharpen one and put the sharpening to the highest. Go to blur and just blur it a little bit. So about five, I think that looks pretty good. And now we got a bit of a VHS look. You can adjust it to your likings, you can adjust the blur of course. And if you want to have a color cast, you can go to the primary wheels and work with lift gamma and gain or even offset if you want to. And now we got a VHS look made for free. So what can we do with the second clip? And in this case I want to make it look like film. And I think I'm going to use a plugin that I use all the time for the film look. Make about four notes. These three are for adjustments. First one is for balance if you want to make balance adjustments. Second is contrast and the third one is gonna be for exposure. The fourth one is for our plugin which is the answer so I'm gonna call this one the answer. You can make all these adjustments in the answer so you don't actually need these notes but I want to make but I want to use them because this is what I do all the time. And now we can make our adjustments. You have a lot of options with the film and also other options. You have film compression for example film grain, halation, bloom, and many other things. And also there's a 10% discount code in the description. So if you want to check out the answer, you can use my code to get 10% discount. So first I'm gonna make some balance adjustments, just a little bit of adjustments. Then we make some exposure adjustments. So we pull this one up, go to contrast, and I just wanna pull down the lift so that we increase the contrast and also adjust the black point. Go back to the de plugin, and now I want to make some adjustments. First, I want to play around with the film profile if I want to use a different one. And I think I'm going to use Kodak Vision 3 250D. And also the temperature. So that's so it's a bit more neutral. 
And if we really want to have the film look, we can also go to cropping and crop it on the left and on the right. You can also use the film overlay if you want to, or use the new DSR version, which I think has a feature built in. And now I want to use the softness a bit to soften the edges. You can do it like that, or you can soften them like, like that. And now we get the film look on this footage. And the last one, we just make some adjustments and try out if it works without anything else. So we pull up the lift and as you can see it works pretty good. Now I want to make some exposure adjustments. Now we need to adjust the lift of course. Adjust the gamma. Some contrast adjustments. And now I think it's pretty much fixed. We need some white balance adjustments. So we pull it down to the blue area a bit because it's a pretty warm image. And I think this is a pretty good middle point. And now it's fixed. So this is my way of fixing bad footage. If you have more ways to fix bad footage, you can write them down in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.